We turn now our attention to the seven churches which were in Asia. Ephesus, Smyrna, Pergamos, Thyatira, Sardis, Philadelphia, and Laodicea. Now a little background on these cities, historical background. Um, Ephesus was founded at the mouth of the Keister River. And it's about halfway between Miletus and Smyrna on a trade route. It was established by the Greeks around 1000 BC and Ephesus became known for philosophy, its poets, its expensively gowned women, along with its famous temple to the goddess Artemis, also known as Diana. You recall in Acts, Paul preached there and the Ephesians rose up and spoke of Diana. Uh, during Roman times, Ephesus was made the capital of the province and this congregation of course was established by Paul on his second journey through Asia on his way back to Jerusalem. We also find Apollos having spent some time there before joining Paul. Smyrna was established twice by the Greeks, the first time around 1015 BC by Aeolian Greeks, and then it was later rebuilt by Alexander the Great. The city had been destroyed by a man by the name of Aletus of Lydia about 580 BC. And just to connect some ancient history, biblical history, Jerusalem was destroyed by Nebuchadnezzar around 586 BC. Under Alexander, Smyrna um, became a flourishing commercial center. It had well-paved streets and wide. Its main street became known as Golden and was famous throughout all of Greece. This city, Smyrna, is now the second largest city in Turkey and the largest in Asia Minor. And it bears the name Izmir. Pergama, or Pergamus, is the leading city of, or was the leading city of ancient Mycia, situated about 15 miles east of the Aegean Sea. Eumenes, the second of Pergamum, 190 BC, aligned himself with the Romans and with their help ruled a rather powerful kingdom. Parchment was first perfected here and it boasted a library of some 200,000 books. These books in Pergamos 
eventually ended up at the library in Alexandria. A famous temple was built here also to the god Esculapius, who was represented under the figure Thank you.